Before every space shuttle launch, astronauts and ground crews prepare for liftoff with training and a full launch dress rehearsal at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. For more than 27 years, Travis Todd Thompson, closeout crew lead with the United Space Alliance, has been part of the Terminal Countdown Demonstration Test, or TCDT training activities at Kennedy. TCDT is a great time to, to, for us to get to know the crew, for them to get to know us. We go through this dry count, it's like a dress rehearsal, so we get to uh, know what their comfort level is, what they're going to need on launch day, and it helps launch day to go smoother when we get to do this. TCDT training gives the flight crew a chance to become familiar with the spacecraft, check the fit of their spacesuits, practice slide wire basket evacuation procedures at the launch pad, and check out their mission's cargo in the shuttle's payload bay. The slide wire baskets have been part of the pad's emergency egress system since STS-1, but have never been used for an emergency. But training for the unexpected on the launch pad is nevertheless a staple during TCDT. This is the primary egress route. If we had to evacuate the white room in a hurry, we would egress down this, this yellow path here. There's Fire-X nozzles that spray heavy amounts of water on us and the flight crew as we'd be egressing. So the reason this pad is painted yellow with the black chevrons is to because with all the water coming in your face you can only really see at your feet so we follow this we call it the yellow brick road and it would take us straight to the slide wire baskets. The astronauts also receive instruction on driving the M113 armored personnel carriers as part of their emergency pad escape training. Every crew member gets a chance to drive the M113 instructed by Kennedy's fire chief. Thompson also is there to lend a hand. Gives me a good time to get to know the crew a little bit on a, on a comfortable basis, you know, before we really have to do a lot of work. And it's fun for them, they like it. In addition to pad and field training, the commander and pilot practice touch and go landings in NASA shuttle training aircraft, Gulfstream jets that have been modified to simulate the orbiter's unpowered high speed glide at Kennedy Shuttle Landing Facility. TCDT wraps up with a full launch dress rehearsal where the astronauts climb into their flight suits and helmets and step into NASA's Astrovan for a short trip to the launch pad's white room on the 195-foot level. There, Thompson and his team are waiting to help the crew members board the shuttle. Once on board, the astronauts go through the entire launch sequence right up to engine start. At that point, training is over, and in just a couple of weeks, they'll return to do the real thing. Yeah, and that's uh, one of my main duties is to watch out for them on launch day, their safety and their comfort. So I take a lot of pride in that. I'm happy that I can say some of them are my friends.